which is quite open, quite mm -hmm. available. If you know where to look, you practice. Here we have Neil Armstrong practicing digging up his moon rocks, coming down the ladder. You have him trying to fly his uh, lunar lander, mm -hmm. which he couldn't. He kept crashing it, uh, which is a bit unsafe. Would you fly an aeroplane that the pilot kept crashing? No, no, you wouldn't. But Neil Armstrong, you know, he tried it. It was difficult. He did eventually fly, but it took a lot of experience to pilot it. Just, just a question in between, a little bit off the record. Um, where does all the money come from to 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 pay all these uh, huge amounts of uh, of budgets? There are. It was a huge. The Apollo program is alleged to have cost about forty billion dollars at the time, since the mid nineteen sixties. It came from the from the American taxpayer. Okay. From government. Uh, this was a political uh, project. Mm -hmm. Not a scientific project. This was a political project. Yeah. Right. They had, America does not have the option of coming second to anybody. Exactly. Russia was seen to be a more advanced nation as regards space travel. America had to be seen to beat them. Going to the moon was a very political decision made by John Kennedy six weeks after Gagarin's flight. That's when he made the announcement. Well, I, I remember a speech of Kennedy where he admitted that. He, yeah. he, he said so. It was political. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because America was being upset by all these Russian successes. Mm -hmm. So they built this vast rocket, the Apollo rocket, 360 foot high, 120 meters high, huge. It weighs 3,000 tons. Mm -hmm. It staggers off the ground. Now, between the point at which it leaves the ground and the point at which the capsule lands on the parachutes, there's one source of information, and that's NASA. Exactly. Never a straight answer. NASA did not allow anybody else access to that information, so nobody could confirm. Exactly. Two things to know about space. Two facts. Three facts. Mm -hmm. What is the temperature of space? Mm -hmm. Space has no temperature until there is something in space to acquire a temperature, like a spacecraft. Mm -hmm. You could say that the temperature of space is absolute zero minus 273 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Space is a vacuum. There is no pressure. Humans can't survive in a vacuum. You mm -hmm. have to take your own pressure. That's why we wear space suits. Mm -hmm. And in space, there is radiation generated from the sun. These are three facts. Mm -hmm. In order to go to the moon, you have to be sure that you can avoid radiation damage, mm -hmm. specifically to film. And this is the key point. Mm -hmm. Photographic film is damaged by radiation. When you put your camera through airport security a few years ago, you would not put it through the X-ray machine because it would damage sure. the sure. sure. That's what happens in space. We're protected on Earth by the Earth's magnetic field, which holds the van on radiation arts. So going to the moon is a very dangerous operation for humans, not for machines, for satellites, unmanned satellites, this is not a problem. Mm -hmm. For humans, it's a major problem. You have to protect against it. But how could they, they simulate those conditions that were so damaging? They could simulate the temperature, yeah, that could be done, Yeah, because the temperature on the lunar surface in sunlight is plus 150 degrees centigrade. Well, in the shade, it's minus 150 degrees centigrade. Now, that is colder than anywhere here on Earth. Exactly. Colder than Antarctica, colder than Siberia, certainly colder than the deep freeze. You can survive under those conditions. Humans can survive. Here's a picture which I think is very interesting in terms of why has nobody ever been back? The work that was taken of the lunar surface by orbiting satellites before Apollo. And mm -hmm. there's one such photograph which shows on the surface of the moon a track made by an object. I don't know what the object is. It looks like a rock. A big rock. Mm -hmm. But what is the motive moving that rock? Mm -hmm. What energy is moving it? I don't know. So there, is, there are many mysteries on the moon. Exactly. Which have not been investigated. Well, maybe they have been investigated, but not published. That's a key point. 
That is a key point. Maybe there are things that have not been properly investigated. Exactly. And maybe one day we'll find out, but at the moment we don't. Okay, but you've been showing now some 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 um, pictures uh, of of, of uh, this whole space uh, thing, and and according to your opinion, they haven't been there. They you 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 just pointed out that uh, uh, all in a yeah very open and legal way, they they have simulated the whole landing in a constructed area, yeah. simulated area, just to prepare the astronauts on their landing. Yeah, but. If they wouldn't uh, have the plan to land there, why would they simulate the whole thing? Okay. Why do you need to fake something that is yeah. real? Exactly. Uh, or when you when when um, yeah, what what is the whole th yeah scenario behind it? The whole agenda. Because America had to be seen to succeed. Yeah. Okay. But is that the only story? No. There are three options, there are three possibilities. One is that, yes, the Apollo astronauts did more or less what we've been told they did. They launch, they go to the moon, land on the moon, get out, walk mm. around, take mm. photographs, come back, land on Earth. That's more or less what we've been told happened. Mm -hmm. That could have happened. A second option is, again, get there, take photographs, come back, oh dear, look, the radiation's damaged the film, we've got nothing to show for us being there, who will believe we went there, we've got to create some photographs. And somebody said, well remember those ones we did on the simulation exercise, couldn't we use those, nobody else has been, who'll know the difference? It's one option. Okay. The third option is they didn't get out of Earth orbit because of the dangers of radiation to the astronauts. Exactly. They were travelling in what was referred to as the shirt-sleeved environment of the spacecraft. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had no protection against mm -hmm. radiation. Mm -hmm. The spacecraft themselves did not provide particularly good protection. And as well, the spacecraft was in the full force of the sun for three days. Would you try getting back in your car after a particularly hot day and being sat in the sun? The interior is almost too hot to touch. Exactly. Oh, they had air conditioning, we're told. <coughs> well, no, they didn't have air conditioning because air conditioning will not work in a vacuum. Okay. You have to collect the heat from inside the spacecraft and it has to be radiated out into space. Exactly. That is quite a good way of doing it. But was that the way it was done on the Apollo program? Mm -hmm. One key to that is that the space the space station and the space shuttles which orbit the Earth, mm -hmm. for real, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. nothing, nothing mysterious about that, they orbit the Earth, the space shuttle spends half its time in the shadow of the Earth and half in the sunlight. So there isn't the build-up of heat, because for half the time it's cold, very cold, minus 150 degrees, half the time it's hot, plus mm -hmm. 150 degrees. And the astronauts in the space shuttle were complaining that when they were working in their spacesuits outside the space shuttle landing satellites or launching satellites, their fingers would get very cold mm -hmm. and they needed gloves that had electrical heaters in them to keep mm -hmm. the fingers from freezing. Yeah. And they did a series of experiments. You'd think by 1980 they'd have worked out that space was cold, but now they had to do the experiments again. Find out that, yes, it was cold. But the key to this is, it's not surprising it's cold in space. What is interesting is how fast it heated up when the space shuttle comes out from the shadow of the Earth into the sunlight. Within a few minutes, is the report, within a few minutes, the temperature is over 100 degrees centigrade. So it's gone over a huge range of temperature very fast because there's no atmosphere and dissipated. And the material that the whole uh, spacecrafts are made of can handle this, this, this con constantly switching of temperature in such a short time. Well, yeah, there's a new interesting story about that on the space shuttle. Uh, you recall when you see the space shuttle, it has two big doors that open up. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's designed by the American military to carry satellites. Okay.